Hello everyone, this is Varun Dubey. I'm going to explain you how to configure Pipso with uh, Rain theme. In this demo, we had already prepared all the pages after the Pipso installation. So we have all the these pages uh, created by default after the plugin get activated on the website. For the theme specific configuration, what we have to do first, uh, we have created a dedicated template file for it. So when you are going to these template pages, you have to edit them. And uh, you can see that the page attribute and here Pipso layout is selected. And you can enable the both sidebar options, uh, right sidebar and map the sidebars, right sidebar and the left sidebar. And uh, this Pipso group will come with the both sidebar uh, on the Pipso layout what we have created for it. And uh, same thing we have to do for the all the existing pages. Like this uh, directory is coming with a two column layout, right and the left, both of them. And uh, these visits get populated from this section. So we have um, two primary areas here. First is uh, what is coming in the content area. And uh, this section is also we had um, bring as a top uh, visit area and we have created dedicated visit for that one so you can find it here header visit area and you have to drag and drop pipso user bar here okay this is the specific uh, user bar created for the pipso one and um, rest uh, you can configure the, your the visit what you need in the left side bar or the right side bar and it will display there same for the profile section like uh, I'm on your profile page during the configuration of this page uh, by default it will come as a default template uh, like uh, this one default template uh, we have to switch this also to the pipso layout and enable the both sidebar using the left sidebar and the right sidebar and once you pub publish it it will display uh, as per our demo like this uh, as additional feature what we have included inside our theme we also allow you to toggle these uh, header layout the range setting you can find pipso settings and it will give you option to manage these header positions top on the inside the sidebar or uh, you can also change the cover layout like you can see that uh, second layout is uh, active for the member I'm going to switch that to the first layout and uh, reload this page. Now you have a uh, center line author and uh, the uh, navigation items there. You can also bring it inside. These are the possible case scenarios. It also give a flexibility. Uh, if we are going to create some new template layout, we can also use the same pattern and create a new layout there. So it also can be extended in that particular direction using child theme. So we can bring all those functionality inside that one. So now you can see that we have right sidebar and the left sidebar and the content and the cover image is coming between them. So this is the sidebar position inside and when we are selecting top, the same center line section, uh, section will come above the content area. So it will give you like uh, three inside, three top, and say for the groups. Um, like I'm selecting a different layout for that one, just to demonstrate. Single group. Now you can see that this is a different layout for that one. And so you can trigger these layout options as an admin. Uh, you can contact us from our support channel. Uh, we will help you to configure the theme. Thank you.